Good morning, uh, Henrietta Mary. I'm a professor with University of Queensland. I'm also the uh, senior elder with the Kimawalbra Yidinji people of Cairns. I was asked to investigate in the discrimination uh, with in, with uh, the the hospital in North Queensland, and. Following that report, uh, it occurred to me that um, it was much deeper than simply discrimination with systemic uh, racism happening across the board within these institutions. We, we certainly uh, assess 16 hospital health sectors throughout. We um, also uh, back to the commission and he then communicated and uh, we had meetings with both the and the health sector departments and um, the minister then decided to take it on. And uh, I've got to give credit to um, the minister at the time to, for making this, um, you know, a very important issue to, to track forward and therefore um, in, in ensuring that it, it would make a difference within the health sector. And that's why you see today uh, the changes that have come about due to the matrix, due to the report that have been done in changes in legislation to ensure that uh, First Nations people are represented on all the boards throughout Queensland and, and hospital sector. And uh, that's only part of it. And then there are other things that have happened and continue to happen. Uh, again, after that, what's happening and what's changing. The value of this matrix is that uh, it can be used in, across the, the different areas, such as justice, education, age, disability. Uh, it's just a matter of how you uh, then uh, tweak it to, to suit the situation that you're in and where you are and, and uh, the um, area that you want to do a study on or an investigation into what's happening. It's about creating a better opportunity for people. It's, it's really about identifying the barriers that are there. And, and this tool uh, allows you to under, understand that. It, it, it's also a tool that to some degree today can use to uh, close the gap uh, if it's used um, again well uh, and uh, if it's designed to, to be able to investigate institutions out there or on an ongoing basis. So um, it's certainly a tool to really be used as uh, an accountability tool um, and identifying institutional racism.